through my research and recently through my teaching in the gerontology program, I have also been made more conscious of my own aging and the physical changes that I see every day have forced that really. Um, but I've also become aware of my own mortality and what that means and how to live with that knowledge. Um, but most importantly, I've learned a great deal and a great deal from older people about living and living well and long. This man was in a wheelchair. He was very frail. He was hunched over in the, in the wheelchair. And I had a very difficult time um, engaging him. I had to get very close, bend down. And um, I was administering a test that had um, 30 items and he had to get at least five or six correct in order to be in the study. And he was missing nearly all of them, including those for orientation to time and place. He wasn't sure where he was. Um, but he had finally gotten five rights, so he needed one more. And for the very last difficult item, requiring him to write a complete sentence, he first asked me to spell his name to spell my name and I thought he will never be able to do this but I spelled my name and he wrote it down and continued to write and with much effort and a tremulous hand and he wrote and then translated for me when I couldn't read his writing I had to ask him to help me tell, tell me what this says and he, he reads Allison I am very pleased to have met you and that incident changed my life in so many ways. I learned never to assume anything about anybody. Although many older adults continue to contribute in important ways to their communities well into their 70s, 80s, and 90s, the overall care burden for older adults is increasing with their increasing numbers. Gerontologists have the perspective and the expertise to develop and implement models of practice for frail elders, as well as to develop policies and programs to optimize opportunities for those many older adults who are thriving or who are faring well enough. And a quote that um, also speaks deeply to me and I hope to my students is one from Joan Erickson, who is the life and intellectual partner of um, the psychologist Eric Erickson. And she writes, the life cycle nearly complete, we are called to become more and more human. In the beginning, we are what we are given. By midlife, when we have finally learned to stand on our own two feet, we learn that to complete our lives, we are called to give to others, so that when we leave this world, we can be what we have given. <laughs>